all right guys welcome to another episode today is fourth of july weekend so as you know what i do on the holidays is avoid the crowds so i had anthony here message me a couple days ago and he said i want to go night fishing for catfish so i'm back here where i was memorial weekend we have all our limb lines still out we got 21 of them we went ahead and made sure they all hit the water still put new glow sticks on them and right now we're catching bait and keeping them alive in this basket and trying to get about 40 live bluegill and sunfish to set for limb lines once dark hits. So stay tuned. Hopefully we catch a few catfish on rod and reel or a big bass or buffalo on accident. I just caught a bass on accident already, so it's a good sign. We got southwest winds. It's 95 degrees, hot as hell and no shade. But it's looking promising because we're already catching bluegill we haven't even been here five minutes so i think we're gonna have a good night i think the limb lines will work out for us this time our last video we only ended up getting four of them after dark and that was back on memorial but it's a lot warmer now. It's post-spawn already. I do believe the catfish got done spawning about one week ago. So we're hoping they're still in the mood. We won't get those dark black males. We'll probably catch more females than anything. I would think the males are going to be kind of turned off. But you never know. I don't really know. I don't, I've never fished with limb lines this late in the year until after Labor Day anyway. Not in the heat of summer though. So we're going to see how it works out. So far we got one bluegill in the basket and that's it. But we just started. We got four hours to catch bait fish, guys. So there should be no issue with getting 40 fish. Pretty much got enough for the whole first hunt, first set. And I just switched my hook to a gold cricket hook because I wasn't catching any. And I said, I'm going to go ahead and fish for bluegill. What happens? I get a dang catfish on a tiny cricket hook. <laughs> it's funny because we was joking about that. And then it really happened. <laughs> I gotta loosen my drag a little bit. You gotta be safe. Oh, yeah, I can't see. I'd wait a little bit. It's definitely a cat. This ain't no bass. I can tell you that. It's gotta be a catfish. Buffalo would have been tired already too. They're just now picking up what it was. They weren't biting. Bring him in for you lose. Told you they're all like this. This is the average one like this. This is just average. I just don't want him getting into that anchor rope. That'd be the worst thing that could happen. About six, six or seven pounds. All right, good job, man. That is not bad. I'll get my glove on and I can just, we can still see good enough. I don't need a light yet. I'm gonna put my gloves on and then I'm gonna try to get him out with the pliers I guess it's gonna cut the hook no matter what I bet you a hundred bucks the fucking pliers are gonna cut them damn hooks yep that's the average ones in here yeah now you, now you see why I keep them caught him right here in that damn bush 
Thought I had a bluegill till I freaking till it started going like this. It ran straight under the canoe. Swallowed it. Did it? So I just cut it. That yeah. bad? Yeah. You think? Yeah. He's easily five or six anyway. Might go seven. I got a scale, but I know he ain't bigger than that, so it'll probably cut it. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the fish and then I'm just gonna give you the camera. All right, go ahead and just take it off my head. You may have to zoom a little bit though. It's slime all over me. Yeah. I turn it over your head. If you want to zoom, uh, just take the whole hat. If you want to zoom, you just turn that knob and it'll you'll see me getting closer. Guys, we finally got a catfish before dark. It's a female, really pot belly. I'm gonna say she's five pounds. About five. Not a bad channel. Just they were not biting during the day, were they? At all. Everything was biting except the these. Man, yeah, they're all like this in here, man. It's freaking bohemus. I guess we better try to get a couple more, huh? Tiny me, you can snap a pic. I'd like to at least get you one on a pole. I want to. I can't believe I did it with a cricket. <laughs> <laughs> that thing should have easily broke that hook off. Is it showing up pretty good? Yeah. All right, guys, we're gonna throw them back today. I'm not keeping them today. I just don't feel like it because we're gonna stay out all night, and I don't want to clean fish at eight in the morning. Not bad. Man, that thing fought. They go ballistic, man. Now you can see what I said. I had that one jump up in the out of the air. He went like straight under the canoe. They come out of fucking nowhere. I thought it was a bluegill. It's weird after you catch 50 bluegill and you finally get one of them. Yeah, of course. I'm just over here eating my sandwich. So I still got my hook. I'm just over here eating. All right, guys, it is officially dark. We are going to the beginning of our series of lines here. We got 21 out total, if I'm not mistaken anyway. It's, it's around there. And we're going to bait them right now and crack our glow sticks and then sit and wait. Every one of our bluegills seem to be alive. I got really lucky today. We caught a lot of bait. I missed the big buffalo, but I did get the channel and a drum and 20 bass between us. We got 40 bluegill for 20 limb lines, so it should be a good night as long as they're cooperative. I will turn back on once we get a fish. Holy crap, that is a big bass, man. Oh, I got to get my pole out of the way here. Oh, um, hold on here. Holy man, that is a big bass. We'll have to get a photo of him, man. Same thing happened to William. Yeah, he's four pounds. Three and a half. Did he leave the bait? Yep. We'll leave it then, yeah. Let's push away and then I'll get a picture of us here. Oh, sorry. Okay. Oh, you're making sure it's all good. A bass on cut bait. What the hell? These bass are right here bite on anything. Man, that's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Then one of them, besides the crappie on a top water. Oh, Virgil with a caught a crappie on a plopper. That explains why it didn't go nuts, but man, that's really weird, man. I'll have you just hold it up. I'll I'll point the flashlight on you right at your rib cage. Guys, we caught a Okay, turn your body again. Guys, we caught about a four pound bass. Freaking limb line on a cut bait. I tell you what, turn shift your arm that way. Yeah, it's like real diagonal. There we go. Guys, a three and a half, four pound largemouth on freaking cut bait. Weirdest thing I've ever seen, man. God. 
That ain't a bass. That's the biggest bass we caught all day. Wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how long he's been on there. They do. They ain't picky here, are they? What in the world? Well, guys, we finally caught a fish. Wrong kind. Yep, it's a bass again. God, what a disappointment. Yeah. What the flip? Well, guys, we did it again. We got a largemouth on a limb line. He's another three pounder, though. Two and a half, three pounds. What in the flip, man? I guess point the sh flashlight. Or since you held the last one, I'll hold this one. All you gotta do is aim the flashlight at my uh, chest plate. Mm -hmm. Give me a second. Right. <clears throat> mm. That's freaking strange, man. Now that was on a live one, I'm sure, because we didn't have no cut bait down this far. All right, guys, bass number two on a limb line. They're getting, at least they're bigger than the ones we caught on the pole. I would just aim like right here with the light. Is it showing up on the screen? Yeah. Pretty good, probably. This is strange, man. A big live bluegill and cut bait. What the? We didn't get none this nice on poles. No, just little tiny ones. Here, want to rebait it? Yeah, might as well. Let's get her baited up. I think there is one down there moving around too. God. Look at these fucking bats. Why are they biting so well? It's like they haven't had a meal in three years or something. Good Lord, to eat a whole damn bluegill. Yeah. You think they could go want shad or something instead? It's like freaking bass things. They got freaking hundreds of shad flopping out in the middle. You think they'd be out in the middle? Drop me out here. That ain't no bass. There's no damn way. I don't think it's a bass. We would have seen it come to the top by now too. No. Guys, we may have a catfish here. Yeah. Is it? Yep. Do you? Oh, nice one. Yeah, it is. Over there too, it's gone. Oh, big old Jim. Hey, it's gone. Yeah, he's not bad. All right, guys, we got a real fish for once. It took till one, no, two thirty in the morning. Dang, that's yeah, that's a nice fish. Is he hooked good. Oh man, he's 10 pounds, dude. Oh, let me back out so we can get away from the, uh, let me go in reverse so we don't hit trees and. He, oh wait, I can't reverse. What am I doing? We ain't got him off the, we ain't got him off yet. You want the channel locks? Here you go. This is what. Oh shit. Oh, reverse how much? Just go. It should start slowly moving. Yeah, I just don't want to go too far. Okay. You want these channel locks? Or are you going to try your pliers? These things will really get it out. I would say he's 10 pounds. Yeah, he's nice. That's a nice fish. H how does the on there not splashing though? They don't always splash. Huh? I guess not. I got them, like I said, just sitting there. God, they're being lazy. You know why they gave it to us, and that's just to keep us here another hour again. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I wouldn't care if we catch them all yeah, them are decent. Throwing out a bait on you? Yeah, and then we'll record. We I'll show you holding it. I think so. I 
Yeah, why can't we get more like that? No oh, shit, that's a nice catfish, man. Real nice. He's at least 10 pounds, I would think. Yeah, that's why we keep them when they're like big. They're good eating, man. It's like after they lose their spots, but not big enough to be nasty yet. After 12, they kind of... All right, let me... Uh... Yeah, we'll just turn him loose back here somewhere in a minute. I want to get a good picture of you holding it, man. I'll turn the lantern on and... Uh... Yeah, I'll get you the gloves. And I'll turn this lantern on. It'll help with the lighting probably guys this is at least we're gonna say he's nine or ten pounds and he did not make a sound we would have never known this fish was on here unless we do our drive-bys like we do every 30 minutes very important when you're checking uh, doing limb lines to check them no matter what every 30 minutes or so you may have to just grab it by the mouth you may have to just grab it by the mouth. That's about all you can do, really. Flipping? Yeah. Bite the hell out of me? No, they w it usually won't. A female will, but not a male. I can't tell what kind it is yet, though. Is it dark gray or real light gray? Light gray. That's a female, then. So they kind of can clamp down a little bit more than a male will. But... It shouldn't really hurt. It won't hurt with them gloves on, though. Man, we earned that damn fish, guys. We put a lot of work into this trip to get this one nice fish. A nice channel cat, though. Oh, yeah, he's easily 10 pounds, isn't it? Is that your personal best, you think? A limb line? Yeah, or, or... Well, probably not on a limb line. I probably caught one other one about this thing. It's definitely one of the good sized ones in here, though. Better than that. A little better than average, but... Guys, what a channel. That's a haul. That's a long one. That's a it's really not that big around, but it's freaking huge. Yeah, try to do what you're getting ready to do. Like pick it up and just hold it completely sideways from falling in. Oh shit. I may be able to turn this flashlight off. Nope, I need to shine it on you. There we go, perfect. Okay, hold the tail up a little more where it's like more vertical. There you go, or horizontal, I mean. Okay, um, turn your light off on your head for a second and do the same thing you're doing and it'll show up just perfect. I just gotta aim this at your crotch and it's showing up real good. That's a freaking tank, man. Real nice one. Okay, hold it horizontal again like he was doing. There we go. Right there. Pretty good cat, guys. I tell you what, I need to freaking zoom just a bit. Right there. Man, it's hard to get, it's hard to film these at night, it really is. Really hard. I can get a picture on my phone. It's hard to freaking aim it. The light wants to get too bright in certain spots. Let's say right there. I tell you. Okay. I'm gonna have you take a picture of me holding it here too in a minute, so we can get, we both have one. Okay. We will have one memory of the night. Yeah, really. Nope. This shows up better without the flashlight, probably. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is working good, man. 
Yeah, do. Okay, now hold one where hold it once like that, and then we're gonna do one where you uh, hold it straight up and down with the back of the head showing, like or yeah, like that even. That looks big like that, man. Making sure your head's in it. Yeah. That one turned out really good right there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Can we be catching these all night? No shit, like every 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. Man. What, 2 o'clock in the morning? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, if I can, I gotta have to turn it inside out again. Yeah. Okay. You'll need this, and then you'll you'll be able to shine like on my chest plate, probably. I don't know if your headlamp will do it enough. I can't really see you, but. May need my flashlight instead of your headlamp. Well, oh, I can man. see better like that. Huh? You can see pretty good like this. Or if this will work. There we go. I think you gotta aim it like a little above the fish. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely it. Huh? So it's definitely in your face. Get it? Is it showing up, you think? Yeah. You want me to we're like going into a fucking click screen. for a picture or? Uh, you can just record it. I'll just get pictures from the camera. Where's it record? Yeah, it's recording. Oh. It'll it'll get pictures from it. Yeah, that's a good one. I'll do one like this. Real quick. Is it working? Hang on. Okay. Yeah, freaking hoss, man. It is. That's a big old channel there. You think, as long as it shows up on the screen, it should show up. And then, like... Yeah. There you go. Yeah, that's a big Pretty good? Yep. Okay, we're going to get this catfish back, guys. We put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into this fish. Good God Almighty, did we ever. <laughs> we didn't. At least we didn't give up. I tell you what, about half an hour ago, I was like, should we leave? Or really, we, we toughed it out and it freaking worked. Mm -hmm. At 2 30 in the morning, caught a fish. Finally. Guys, we just caught a giant freaking largemouth on a limb line. Once again, for the third time tonight, this time. It's a giant, and I told him earlier, I said, I don't mind getting these on the limb lines if they'd be big. It's a freaking, what do you think, four or five? Yeah, that's a nice one. About five pounds. Okay, let me, uh, I'm going to zoom. That's a freaking nice bass, man. Oh, I got to zoom out just a little. 2.3, let's see what that does. That's a long one, too. See? Right, I just gotta get the light in the right spot. Oh my god, look at this, guys, on a limb line. Jeez. <laughs> Alright, let me zoom out a little to get him. In view, when you do that, it's, it's a little hard to. God, man, that is freaking cool there. Actually, that time, isn't it? Good <laughs> I'm that. Maybe these weren't gar a lot of the time. I think it was a bass. One. Is he alive? Yeah, he's alive. Just wore out, probably. Yeah. I tell you what. Yeah, that's a good one. Get a picture of me holding that thing. I'd say five. I want a picture of that too. He's five. He's a full five, yeah. yeah he's Good a five God. Five. You'll probably have to zoom some, maybe. Maybe not. Man, Depends how much you lean forward. 
twist it around here. That is a full five pound, I can tell you by holding it now. My God, there's some beasts in here. We gotta learn how to bass fish this place. You come bass fish it. Catfishing hasn't been that great. I think it's showing up good decent. You just gotta experiment on where you hold the light and you'll see it shine up. I don't look that bad. What a tank, guys. Wow. Holy moly. Not as big as Wilma's, though. But it's up there. <laughs> nice for a limb line. We gotta learn how to come here and catch these bass. I'd say at night with spinner baits, man. I ain't getting time for these. He's not doing too well, but I think he's probably just wore out from. Need to go check the green bar, and we got a catfish. Please be a flathead. No. Channel though, yeah, good channel. Uh uh. It might, it might go seven or eight at least. I think. Oh yeah, pretty good size. He's ten pounds. Hell yeah. We didn't get numbers by God, but we got quality today. It's sure starting to look like it. Yeah. <laughs> That's definitely a full 12 pounds there. Oh, that's 15, man. Uh, Holy cow! <laughs> that might be the biggest one I've gotten out of here. I think so. Yeah, I haven't gotten any that big out of here. <laughs> Close, but about a pound or two away. That thing's bigger than that last one. You're going to need my channel locks this time. All right, guys, this is the, the biggest channel cat I've gotten out of here. He's 15 pounds easily. We got to get good pictures of this, man. I don't care what it takes, we're going to have to shine the lights right on each other. We'll both hold it. I may have to end up changing my battery here. Let me go ahead and change my battery real quick, guys, before this one goes dead and backfires on me. I do not want that to happen in the middle of filming, so I'm going to shut off for a brief moment and make sure I got a good battery. So per going up. Going up. 12.32. 12 guys. That's still decent. So the one we caught earlier was only about nine then. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get the gloves for you. I will do you first. I'll do one with you real good with the camera. And then I might actually do my damn phone and then we'll do your phone and then we'll do me with the camera that is a nice oh yeah i'll put that away god that is a beast of a channel cat man okay try to like bring both your arms this way toward the water i'm gonna get too close in case he jumps Try to, he's kind of like a banana or something. Try to maybe put your uh, other hand underneath directly under the belly where it pushes the belly out. Yeah. Oh, it's hard to hold it right though, isn't it? Um, try to go completely like this or something. It's really, I wonder if this lantern, if I set it on the cooler, if I go like this. Just don't let it fall afterwards. It's a hard fish to hold, isn't it? Wear you out. I'm going to try to set down again. That is one hell of a channel cat, guys. All right, I'm going to aim it right at your stomach. There we go. Now it's showing up really good. 12, what was it, 12.30? Like 12.32. My gosh. It's a 
animal. Beast. Jeez, man, that would feed. That yeah, do one like that. Now I gotta zoom out though when you do that because it's so long. Damn, I gotta zoom out more. Uh-uh. It don't look right in the dark. I hate it. Right there, it looks awesome. Right there. It's just freaking hard to film at night, man. You want me to do one with your phone? Shoot, yeah.